Number seven. The best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more. That plants a fire in our hearts, in our hearts, and brings us peace to our minds. I said that wrong. Oh my goodness. Okay, at least start over. The best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more. That plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. And that is from the notebook. Number eight. Love it. Love is patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never rude or selfish. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful through every circumstance love will last forever and of course that quote is from the Bible but this version of that uh, scripture is from a lot to remember alright number nine happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light and I know everyone knows who said that Albus Dumbledore from the Harry Potter series duh if you haven't read the Harry Potter series then oh my goodness you've got to read those books so please do please do and number 10 is he saved me in every way a person can be saved. And that quote is from Titanic. <laughs> I wish I could make this video longer. Uh, maybe I could just ramble a little bit. I am reading um, a series called The Lunar Chronicles. I just finished the first book, Cinder. It was kind of a retelling of Cinderella, but in the book, Cinder is half human, half cyborg, like a robot, or not really, not really like a robot, she has like a, a, a robotic leg, a robotic hand, so she's not really a robot, not really, but I just finished it. And it was very, very good. Uh, the Lunar Chronicles is from the author Marissa Meyer. I bought the first one and I didn't really have high hopes for it, to tell you the truth. I had heard a lot of good things from it uh, on um, BookTube, BookTube on YouTube. And everybody kept mentioning it. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of being out the loop, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. Well, I got the first one and like 100 pages in. I was like, yeah, go and get the next two in the series. Because um, I don't go to the library anymore. I order my books offline. And uh, I didn't want to wait. <laughs> it takes a few days. And I was like, oh, gosh, what if I... What if I finish the first one and I don't have the second one, what am I going to do? So, but it was very, 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 very good. I'm reading uh, Scarlet. This is the second one. And it's kind of a retelling of, um, oh my goodness, what's a retelling of? Oh, Red Riding Hood. And I'm liking this one a little bit better than the first one. I mean, I loved Cinder. I mean, uh, everybody always says the first one is always better. But in my opinion, I think the second one is a little bit better. Because for some, uh, for some reason, I didn't like the prince in the first one. I don't know why. I just did not like him. I mean, of course, everybody loves the prince from Cinderella. He's a classic. But for some reason, I just don't like the prince in Cinder. I think he's really bland and unexciting. I don't, I don't like him. But if it wasn't for Cinder, 